catch up. It's been six weeks. Generally wait about six weeks in between appointments to get a little bit of growth. So I'll have my roots done, I'll have an overall tone, and then I'll have my extensions put back in. Obviously they take them out to color the hair. And then they'll put them back in and I'll have a fresh new do for the next few weeks. Here's a little segment called Five Things I'm Currently Loving. This is something I saw on Jamari's channel. She always does these nice videos about 10 random things that she's loving, and I thought it would be a really fun segment to incorporate into my Newport Diaries. In no particular order, the first item I am loving is this mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I have the lash primer and the mascara. These are sold separately, but it is a combo made in heaven. My eyelashes are extremely thin and sparse, almost bare or pretty much bare in some spots with very few fine hairs that are short and stumpy. First of all, this primer finds lashes that I did not even know existed. It thickens them, it elongates them, and gives my eyes a little bit more of a fuller appearance than working with a mascara on its own. You can see how thin and sparse my lashes are and just how much more fuller. So right now I'm wearing lash strips for the sake of the camera because the camera really flattens out the face. So I always like to wear false lashes when I'm filming. The primer is a white kind of mascara and you apply this to your eyes. I usually let it dry before I apply the actual mascara. And here is the mascara. I've gone through most of this tube already because I use this every single day. I think that this little duo combo here has worked wonders on my eyes and really helps them pop a little bit more and makes me feel a lot more confident. Next up is this Purple Mousse by Goldwell. If you are blonde and you're always trying to minimize that yellow color in your hair because I myself love my hair to look more on the platinum side, not silvery platinum, but a very, very white, inside of a banana type pale blonde. I am currently working with a new hairdresser. I love her, she's wonderful, but we're still trying to iron out the kinks of getting just the perfect blonde color. The last time I was at the salon, my hair turned out a little too yellow in some sections and I really wanted to tone it down. I have this mousse on hand that I always use for that occasion. I don't really use this in the way that it's intended to be. It is supposed to be applied to wet hair that you leave on for a few minutes and then wash out. I usually just do it straight onto dry hair and I just wear it as a mousse. I don't wash it out. You watch it just neutralize the yellowness right before your eyes. Here it is. It is a mousse. A little bit goes a long way. I'm not sure if I can find a segment of yellow hair, but yeah, I have a little bit of yellow hair right here. So I'm just going to rub that in. I don't know if you'll be able to see the difference, but it instantly neutralizes the yellow. And then you can just style the hair as usual. There, I think that really neutralized it right there. I don't know if you could tell, but it really does work and it's an incredible product. Again, I don't use it as it's intended, but I haven't seen anything wrong with my hair with when I just leave this in. So I'll link this and everything down below for you to check out if you like any of these products. This one is a keeper. I've already gone through a bottle of this and this is a second bottle and I really love it. Next product is a body lotion. This is the Alpha Skin Care. This is a renewal body lotion with 12% glycolic acid. Now, if you're like me and you suffer from very dry skin, very kind of ashy skin, especially on my legs, I tend to suffer from a lot of ingrown hairs and in the back of my legs, I often get a lot of kind of 
ingrown hairs, kind of pimples, that sort of thing. And it always just has a very rough texture. But since I've started using this on an almost daily basis, I have had a major reduction in that. Also, it's really helped with my ashy knees and it's really kind of revived them a little bit. According to the bottle, it reduces signs of aging, relieves dry skin, leaves skin feeling soft and smooth, helps support collagen production, and it evens out skin tone and texture. I definitely have to say that I believe it does all those things because I have seen a big improvement in the way my legs look after using this product. Here is the lotion. It goes on really well. It absorbs really beautifully. I do this after after I shower every evening. I also do it after I shave. A little forewarning, it does sting a little bit after you shave because your legs are freshly shaven. So if that bothers you, then avoid doing it on days that you shave or maybe just do it the next morning. Highly recommend this. You can find it on Amazon and I'll link it down below as well. Next up are these liquid electrolytes. This is from a brand called Highlight and these are drops that you apply to your water. This is a sugar-free solution. The reason I'm adding this to my water is because over the last several months, month, I've been waking up early in the morning with intense cramps in my legs, in my calves and in my heel area. And it has just been so painful, like just the worst Charlie horse. And it's so uncomfortable. I wake up in severe pain and it's like I can't stretch the leg out. After a quick Google search, I realized that this is due to an electrolyte imbalance. That also explains why I've had some lightheadedness, some migraines. These are some of the symptoms you could experience when you're low on sodium, potassium, and magnesium. Now, the reason for that is because I have started incorporating more of a low carb diet into my daily life. Lifestyle. I've been doing this for several months. As a result of going low carb, your body tends to retain a lot less water. So when your body flushes out all this water, all these electrolytes are going out with it. So it's very important that you keep your electrolytes in check. And the way I like to do that now is by adding this solution into my water. This miracle little solution contains all of those electrolytes. And all you do is drop 12 drops into an eight ounce glass of water. I have to say, since I've started using this on a regular basis, I am experiencing far less of those cramps and it's really helping me tremendously. Over the last several months, I've been dabbling with a little bit of red light therapy. This is the Current Body Red Light Therapy Mask. I have always wanted to try red light therapy and did not want to invest in it myself, but they reached out to me and gifted it to me and I really appreciate it because I have been very much enjoying this for several months now. I use it at least five days a week. It's a 10 minute treatment that you do on a fresh face. So I do it literally when I wake up in the morning. I don't even get out of bed. I literally wake up, grab this and put it on my face. It comes attached to a rechargeable battery with a timer. So you press this button. The red light goes on. Obviously it's gonna be on your face like so. I just snooze for another 10 minutes. It's so easy to incorporate in a daily routine. Red light therapy has been known to stimulate collagen production, improve blood circulation, and promote cellular turnover. Therefore, it can help reduce inflammation, improve skin texture, help with those fine lines and wrinkles, and just improve the overall general look of your skin. I'm really loving this mask. I'm not quite sure if I can tell I've had a dramatic difference over the last several months, but I think it is probably keeping my skin in check overall. And that is why I'm continuing to use it. In fact, this has opened my mind up to hopefully experimenting with other tools that will help slow the aging process. I know Current Body is also the maker of the new face and I've heard rave reviews about that tool. Let me know in the comments below if that is something that you've used or if this is something you've used. I'd love to know what your thought is on red light therapy overall.
have the avocado toast here, and this is a breakfast burrito. Yeah, but time is stop pretending 